we haven't had a lot of 2013 update series Range Rover Sports. And this particular car is a very good example. It's an HSE Luxury, and it's even got the HSC Luxury badge, which is quite rare because it didn't actually have it in the earlier series. It's got the much newer alloy wheels, and it's done 101,000 kilometres since it was brand new. The HSC Luxury came with memory electric seats, Harman Kardon sound system, and perforated leather. It's got the terrain response program, limited slip diff, centered differential, low range transfer case, and adjustable suspension. Bluetooth is standard. It does have navigation and a reverse camera as well, uh, not to mention daytime running lights. It's got Continental tyres front and back, which is nice to see. It doesn't have a pair of cheap Chinese tyres or anything like that. It's got an electric boot. It comes in this beautiful metallic champagne colour with black leather interior. The car's in very good condition. What's so good about this car is you can drive it around the city with the 3 litre turbo diesel engine or on the freeway. It gets a good fuel consumption. It's very capable off-road. In fact, it's more capable than just, any, just about any other standard car from the factory off-road. But it's got very smooth suspension. It can tow up to three and a half tonnes. It's easy to get in and out of. So whether you're driving around on a property towing horse floats, driving through a river, through snow, whatever it might be, it, it does all of it with ease. It's a five-seater with plenty of room in the back. They're reliable. This is the last of the Range Rover Sport in this shape. The new shape came up, um, came out actually in the next year. I personally prefer this shape. I think it looks a lot more like a Range Rover. When I say it looks a lot more like a Range Rover, it looks, it looks to me a lot more like a Range Rover Classic from the 70s, 80s and 90s. Whereas the new shape sort of lacking in the, the edges and the, the sharper lines of the tail lights, headlights. So it's like when I look at this, it's not dissimilar to a Range Rover Classic. And what made the Range Rover special in the first place that it had coil over leaf sprung suspension. So it was very comfortable around town, but it could also go off road. And that's what makes them, them very special because nothing existed. What were you going to buy back then? A Land Cruiser with leaf spring suspension. They may have had a Sahara, which had velour seats, a sunroof, rear air conditioning. But with leaf spring suspension, it was quite similar to a horse and cart, really. And the same went for the Patrol. And uh, guess what Range Rover did is it forced all the manufacturers to rethink their SUV concept and in a, probably about 1993 uh, they realised that they needed to not only be capable off-road but to be capable on-road. Need to handle well. They had to go over a speed bump without you know, jarring your neck. And that's why when people think luxury off-road, the first thing they're going to say is Range Rover. They're not going to say Audi Q7, Land Cruiser, or anything else. They're going to say Range Rover. And you know, that's just some of the things which I think make these cars very special. 
And I've walked around this car a few times, so I just can't stop looking at it. I love the shape, I love the contours of it, and the lines, the interior, the dash, the seats. Even these remind me of a 1989 Range Rover Vogue. So I think it's it's great to buy the last of the series. You know, the first one in 2005, the first Sport, I will say, had niggly little issues. They're well and truly gone by now. Little things like the 2.7 litre turbo diesel six cylinder was was all right. It was all right. It, uh, Probably lacked a bit in performance, but by now you've got a three litre with probably about 50 more kilowatts. But if you have been looking for a Range Rover Sport, I think you should come and have a look at this car, take it for a drive. It's in beautiful condition, and it's the last of the series, and it's an HSC luxury. You may go online and think, gosh, there's another 2013 model for $10,000 less. It's probably not a luxury. Might have manual seats, no memory seats, not perforated seats. And if you actually look closely, it's not a pinch on this car. Brand new, it probably would have wouldn't have given you much change out of. I'd say you probably would have spent at least an extra twenty thousand dollars on an HSC luxury over the basic, more basic model. Might have even been more, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm actually just guessing. But I think secondhand it's worth spending that little bit extra to get all the gear, because when you sell it in another five or ten years' time, it's going to make a difference. So I think if you spend a little bit extra now, you'll get it back. Um, some other features are front and rear parking sensors, reverse cameras, pretty standard, along with all the other features. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We're located in Marrickville, we are the old timer centre and we look forward to hearing from you.